Well, goddamn. So, yeah, the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home has come out. And, um, you know, despite the fact they say it's a teaser, it dropped a lot of bombs, pun intended. Um, so, <laughs> I guess I'll first talk about the trailer itself and pretty much what happens. Uh, though, I'm going to make a wild guess that, you know, you probably already saw it by now. Um, so, we're pretty much in the middle of... Peter Parker is dealing with the fact that everyone knows his secret identity and everyone thinks he's a murderer. Now, it we do see that he's being interrogated and stuff, but he's still free to go. He's still walking around freely and stuff. It looks like, um, you know, he's been proven innocent. Um, well, I guess he had a really good lawyer um, from Hell's Kitchen. And, but the thing is, just because he's been proven innocent doesn't mean everyone believes it, you know. Everyone's probably still going to give him a hard time. Some people probably don't believe that, you know, he was telling the truth when he talked about how Mysterio was a murderer and he, you know, tried to kill everyone within the drones. Um, and plus, it's J. Jonah Jameson mostly, uh, you know, leading the charge. So, yeah, uh, not doing great for Peter. Um, I guess at some point he becomes so desperate that he talks to Doctor Strange. And Strange, though, he is warned not to do this. He decides, screw it, you know, uh, I, you know, Peter helped me save half, uh, you know, half the universe. So, you know what? We are going to, you know, fix his life. So, essentially, he conducts a spell that is going to make, make everyone forget he's Spider-Man. Problem being is that, well, Peter realized, oh, everybody. So, not just, you know, the people of New York and his enemies. It's going to be everyone. MJ, Aunt May, Ned, and he's not sure about it, and I guess he interferes in some way where people do forget that he's Spider-Man, but now he has to deal with new threats, um, because, like, the multiverse apparently is going out of flux, and yeah, it gets crazy. We see some really cool effects, some trippy Doctor Strange moves, and, um, yeah, like, we also see that, yeah, Spider-Man's still gonna get various new costumes, which I really dig in these films. I like we've been getting some cool variants. And, uh, the ending being the big reveal where Peter Parker is on the George Washington Bridge. Yeah, the very same bridge where, you know, uh, you know, Gwen Stacy died. And, uh, encountering two villains. Uh, one, uh, you know, throwing a pumpkin bomb and having a very creepy laugh. And, of course, Dr. Octopus played by Alfred Molina. Now, the question being is, is this the same Alfred Molina Doc Ock from the Raimi films, or is this a new one? Um, you know, some fans have speculated that because of this spell, uh, the history has changed, so new villains were created in the process. Uh, similar to, uh, you know, uh, One More Day. Essentially, this is One More Day combined with a moment in time. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out that this was all created via dare. Like, someone dared the writers to be like, hey, I bet you can't make these two stories actually work. And they were just like, challenge accepted. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, we got Alfred Molina back as Doc Ock. And apparently he does know that, you know, Peter Parker is still Spider-Man. So leads to the question of how that's possible. Does he find out later? Does he always know? Is he from this universe, a new universe? Uh, we also get hints of Electro, who we know is going to be played by Jamie Foxx, and that, you know, but he's not the same one from Amazing. They did make it clear he's not the same one. Hell, uh, his electricity is yellow, uh, like the classic uh, Electro. So I'm guessing, like, maybe he's created by this new universe. And, uh, yeah, we also have, of course, Willem Dafoe returning as Green Goblin. I don't know if he's going to have much of a design change, too, uh, because, of course... You know, Molina looks pretty different from how he did back in 2002, but also there are some leaked footage showing that Molina's tentacles, you know, do operate differently because they do show they're, they're detachable, unlike the uh, the Raimi version. And I'm going to make a wild guess, Electro's not going to look like uh, his amazing Spider-Man counterpart. Um, if so, I really do hope they kind of go for a more traditional look. Um, as for what this could mean for Spider-Man after the film and in the MCU... Uh, it's unknown. Uh, apparently, there's a rumor saying, and it's one of those things where, yeah, I definitely take with a grain of salt, that it's going to end with, essentially, Peter Parker becoming more of a street-level hero again. Like, he's going to be mostly focusing on the street level, stick to, like, New York, 
and less world ending. So he will be not re removed from the MCU, but he's gonna be distant from the MCU, leaving to the possibility of like, we could see him return if Sony's in a good mood or, you know, you know, the fans, you know, complain, en uh, complain enough because yeah, Sony was never gonna freaking remove him because uh, if they do that, they're screwed, okay? It was already proven uh, a few years back when they were trying to remove him. You know, it did not do good for them. So they're gonna have, so either they have to find like a very good reason of why he'd be removed or just go with this rumored idea. Um, but yeah, it looks great. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the Sinister Six because, yeah, we're definitely getting the Sinister Six. Another thing in the trailer is that we do see hints of green smoke, so we could be seeing Mysterio again. Either it's revealed that he faked his death or maybe this spell also brought him back from the dead. And uh, also, yeah, we're definitely going to see Vulture and Shocker again so we can get the Sinister Six, uh, which is funny because right now, uh, currently, uh, there is the Sinister War going on where... Uh, you know, Spider-Man has to fight, like, multiple incarnations of the Sinister Six. I think there's, like, freaking 30 mem uh, thirty villains now he has to fight, along with Kindred. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's another thing. Uh, I'm really curious to see who else will pop up in this story. Um, you know, will we see Harry Osborn show up in this story? Will we get... Um, will certain characters be changed in the process? Will we see, like, an, uh, will Flash Thompson change to a character that I actually like? Um... Will we get hints of Morbius and Venom? Like, I'm really, again, really curious to see how this goes. Um, you know, this is going to, I think this is probably going to be the most anticipated Marvel film uh, to date. Since, uh, yeah, Spider-Man is such a big deal. And uh, a lot of fans are been just love seeing Spider-Man interact with the MCU. Hell, a lot of people were happy that he's going to be part of What If. Which, go check out What If. It's a really good show. If you have Disney+, Plus, go check it out. Um... But yeah, uh, I apologize for my rambling. I, you know, I just saw it. I didn't, you know, really have anything planned to say. I just wanted to just get out there and share my thoughts. And uh, yeah, uh, what do you think of the trailer? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What do you hope to see in the story? And um, what do you think they'll do with Spider-Man after this film? Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later.